Hello viewers and my dear students. For the first time, it's an introduction class to you all on the subject which is written on the board called as mathematics. I am new to few of them and at the same time, many of them know me very well. I have been working in Kaizen Academy from past 10 years as a mathematics faculty. And this subject as such to teach is very interesting, very fascinating. When I come to introduction part, as you all know, my name is Shehmir Siddiqui. As a mathematics faculty and a teacher to you all, I welcome you all to this channel. And live classes is a very important concept now in today's world because this is a very important cause that we have taken an initiative from Kaizen Academy to teach you all and reach you being you all at home. You all know that being at home is so bore and also you have promoted from 9th standard to 10th standard and keeping those all minute you know margins of minimum level learning now coming to 10th standard with high class of you know ncert syllabus you have to focus a lot with the less time so therefore from kaizen academy the kaizen management people have decided to take this strong step to help the students community so we here have decided to start with the classes and help you all to teach you a larger concept in a shorter way and in smarter way also so we want you all to follow all the instructions given to you with very much carelessness leaving those all carelessness you have to be very careful because the point that we are going to initiate here is the most important first of all we have to be very thankful to almighty that we are getting this portal to teach you all and secondly we should give credit to kaizen management for taking such a lovely wonderful platform to teach you all with this type of studio from where we are coming live to you all so coming to introduction i have already told you my name and i am seeing you all in your chats in your messages in whatsapp group where i come to know that you all are watching seriously and taken this step very nicely so coming to the introduction much more in depth for this subject in this year's curriculum there are 15 chapters in 10 standard and they have classified in three segments as we all know arithmetic algebra and geometry the most important part that students try to neglect is geometry so we have geometry to a larger extent this time so we have to be focused determined dedicated and we need you all to follow everything very sharply and with keen observation you all have got a bunch of you know instructions and also package of basic needs from your social faculty by Fuzel Ahmed. You all have gone through the video, the promo. You all have seen the introduction wherein you have been given completely brief description of what all the requirements are needed to you all. So what I have to just give to you all is the rules that you have to follow in this subject. The most important according to me after gaining a knowledge of 10 years, meeting each and every individual child, going closer to them and understanding their difficulty level and tracking their you know mindset, how they are trying to learn mathematics in a harder environment where a you know, bunch of students are present with different you know mindsets and their basic levels also are to a distant you know some students are having a little bit of knowledge some are having you know large you know knowledge about it some are lacking some are disinterested you know a complete set of you know mismatch type of students are also available but what we do in kaizen academy we call all together we associate with each other we try to explore their you know mindset we try to become friendly to them so that they learn the subject in a very best possible manner so that is what our aim is being live also here. So the first rule that you have to take into consideration as far as my subject is concerned is first foremost thing is your regularity. I strongly recommend this point to each and every child because this is the first step for learning. Of course punctuality also now as a criteria because now time bound limit is given to you in these classes. Within that frame time limit you have to follow our classes and you have to be regular with punctuality. Being regular will make you very strong in the subject to follow all the concepts explained to you very nicely and slowly. 
सेकेंडली दैट आई नीड फ्रॉम यू पीपल आफ्टर रेगुलरिटी इज सिंसियरिटी मैनी थिंग्स आर इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सिंसियरिटी एज लॉन्ग एज यू वेर इन साइड दी क्लास वी वी यूज टू टेल टू यू टू फॉलो अ डिसिप्लिन यू हैव बीन टोल्ड टू फॉलो ऑल दी यू नो लेवल्स ऑफ यू नो ओबीडियंस दैट यू हैव टू फॉलो इन साइड द क्लास रूम बट श्योर बींग ऑनलाइन यू शुड बी मच मोर डिसिप्लिन बिकॉज एज सच नो टीचर इज वॉचिंग यू बट यू ऑल आर वॉचिंग टू अस we visited all the schools in bangalore and almost they gave you know positive results to us telling that you know sir our students are eagerly waiting for these type of classes and they are desperate to join your live sessions so keeping those all criteria in mind we are exploring and giving you all these necessary requirements and rules sincerity as a part you know you have to maintain very good data limit to follow us exactly at 5 pm or 6 pm whatever that scheduled time is you know given to you to follow so in this sincerity many things you know appear you have to give your time completely dedicated to studies you have to close all the distractions that you are in you can sit with your parents to watch the classes as it is your sslc exams that you are going to write with the complete confidence so in sincerity you should also maintain your notes yes i know that watching a live session and maintaining notes at the same time is difficult so thereby what we have decided is we have created your whatsapp group as well so whatever the details we have explained as a topic or a summary will be posted in the group you will come to know the complete scenario in case you have some doubts you can you know put your views as well at the same time we will get back to you and clarify whatever the doubts are coming to the third segment after regularity and sincerity you have to be having curious curiosity is the third criteria once you are regular sincere and watching our classes very lively when this curiosity will develop within you very simple if you have understood the concept very nicely and you have performed the practice work at home then this automatically generates within yourself so this curiosity to come within yourself follow all the problems perfectly practice it at home and then come back to understand by your own examples like for example if i give some problem to you and explain the concept see the explanation also demands two things to you there are two words in english one is called as see one is called as listen when something is being explained if you merely see it is none of your you know benefit instead of just merely seeing you have to listen when you listen to us that means not only your brain is working your mind is giving signals to you that your concept is registering in your brain but if you just merely see it means thus you are you know watching like a movie or going through some videos in youtube but listening is a very important skill that you should develop each and every line that a teacher writes or explains the steps if you follow perfectly that is called as listening if you just look on the board and merely see that whatever is being written is for just name sake then you cannot be curious you are sincerity will be lost then your regularity will automatically fall down and of course when you cancel out these rules you cannot achieve what we want from here so what we basically need from kaizen academy is students come here with an interrogative sentence with two words they say can i can i do this in my problems or can i do my complete course of six subjects perfectly when they leave kaizen academy same these two words of interrogative sentence converts into a proper sentence and it will be changed from can i to i can so this is what is the aim of this institute we want you all to be very regular for our classes by that way you will become in that section of students who will say i can do anything so all the best for that but for all those rules to follow and to be regular and that introduction classes and to carry all these demand that we need from you the most important point that you have to keep in mind is you have to first tell to your brain no subject is tough because this is the first basic mindset that students have generally kept in their brains they say mathematics is a tough subject we cannot learn 
Nothing like that students. This is a very fascinating subject. This is very very puzzle type of subject. Once you understand the concept, I am sure that you will love to solve problems and you will admire the subject at the same time. So what is the demand from me as such for this subject is your focus. First and foremost thing is focus. It doesn't mean that you are both eyes you have to you know give some magnifying effect and completely give you know focus in such manner. No, focus means if I have explained some problem to you, you have to just tell to your brain that whatever was explained is registering in your brain with clarity. Because here in the limited time, if we are teaching you even one problem, if it is registered in your brain very sharply with perfect instructions, then I am sure that you can be a master of any problem in that exercise itself. So your focus is the first demand from my side. And the most important demand is this. We have you know, seen majority of the students coming here with, without learning tables. So this is the basic most weakest I can say for the child to develop in mathematics. This is the important point that you have to keep in mind. You may tell that sir we have learned in our primary we know tables but few are there when we visit the students. There are people who are you know to such a level that they don't know even three tables. Really shocking to that. If coming to 10 standard and they don't know even three tables. So it's a humble request to all my lovely students. I want you all to be very very sharp in tables. Let it be from 2 till 12 tables only but be strong in the tables. How to be strong? Not in serial wise. This table have to be learnt in three ways. One is the proper order of learning which have been going from generations like 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 3s are 6 in complete serial wise. The other way is going in reverse. Reverse way going from 2 10s are 20, 2 9s are and 2 8s are 2 7s are and so on going to the top level. And the third way is mixed way. That means from the center part or from the middle most or the topper one or the from the bottom section of the table. Anywhere we ask we should be strong in that. For instance 2 9s are, 2 4s are, 2 6s are, 2 8s are, 2 9s are like that if I can shuffle it off. That mixed way of learning tables, if it is there with you, all these three ways will really help you and boost your mathematical analytical skills of calculation. So once you are thorough with these ways, I am sure that you should be a topper in your SSLC examination. And along with these two, very important is to have this in your heart. Respect as such in your schools due to the fear of the teacher definitely you will be bound with some rules and regulations the principal the coordinators the teachers with that fear you be disciplined but what I want from you is from your heart you have to have this respect for your teachers. So when this comes from the heart I am sure that whatever the concept is being explained from any subject teacher it will flow from the heart of a subject teacher to the heart of the child. So how do you give respect to us here online? It is simple by just coming regularly following all the sincerity concepts which I discussed with you and also becoming curious. These three criteria will create a respect in your heart and that itself will give you knowledge from heart to heart transfer. Okay, so these are the three important basic demands that I ask from you all. Generally, when I start my classes, I suggest to my students not to disturb any maths teacher, for instance, you take it, any school, the teacher, you know, always wants the child to be very, very silent. Because as long as the concepts are being explained, if any disturbance happen, the teacher also deviates from the topic. The child also gets distracted and by that way the surrounding neighbor friends also will be disturbed. By that way the concept will not go to the whole of the class. So thereby it's a request to everybody to be disciplined in your house. There may be lot of distractions in your house. There may be parents you know doing some work or there may be relatives coming to you. You have to give your time and focus. 
you can tell to your parents to give your dad time with your parents presence that is the most important so that other deviations your parents will take into considerations and you can focus completely on whatever is being explained to you so i feel so i have explained to you the introduction of the subject you know students generally tell to me sir mathematics ka definition kya hona chahiye maths they say meri atma tumhe hamesha satayegi एम ए टी एच एस दे हैव टोल्ड मेरी आत्मा तुम्हें हमेशा सताएगी बट दैट इज नॉट द केस एक्चुअली दीज ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ प्रॉवर्ब्स और फुल फॉर्म्स हैव बीन मेड बाई दो स्टूडेंट्स और आई कैन से द बैक बेंचर्स हु जनरली लैक इन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन हु हैव द लेस नॉलेज अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट एंड हु आर वीक इन द सब्जेक्ट बट द नॉलेज विच वी गेन is not just a मैटर ऑफ नॉलेज वी गेन फ्रॉम द टीचर्स इट इज फ्रॉम द हार्ट दैट द चाइल्ड लर्नस so if the interest within the child is there he can be a master of any subject we have seen students in kaizen academy especially in mathematics where students have secured 100 out of 100 also 99 from one of the boy 100 from one of the girl so we have seen such type of you know students who are so much having such type of calibers so if you also want to land up in this subject in that section of students you have to follow all the instructions yes we will try to make this simple concepts to you we will try to bring in a best simple ways of calculation before going to the chapters that is what we decided we will start up with the bridge course to you all which means the important chapters and the key factors of basics that needed in 10th standard to solve problems are selected from chapters from 8th standard and 9th standard so those all as a consolidated fact i will present in front of you as a bridge course please follow the bridge course particularly for those students who are weak and those who think that they are genius it will also help them because this particular bridge course is not only considered keeping mind that all those students who are weak but also for those who are aiming for distinction so here in kaizen academy we are looking out for students who are not only weak in the subject who are strong in the subject but all the students consolidated to them and make them a meritorious child so this is what we want from you all all these things you keep be ready for the next session because in that i am going to start with the bridge course the most important segment to start with the chapters because once you are strong in the basics then you will be strong in the concept followed in this chapters also so with this i conclude today's we'll meet very soon